Hey everyone, hoping your plants are doing great. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a jacket, I'm heading on to my balcony. The weather is still pretty cold here even though it's May. But still there are a lot to be done in my balcony. So I'm getting it done one by one. Today I'm going to plant some strawberries and I thought I'll share it with you. Hope you enjoy it. I had planted some strawberries bought from the garden center last July. This is a variety Corona. What a coincidence, right? It produced some fruits in August, September last year. Since strawberry is a perennial crop, I overwintered them in my greenhouse. They survived last winter and have grown back in the spring. But as you see here, the spacing between the strawberry plants is not enough for them to develop. If you don't know, strawberry produce runners from which new plants can be propagated, but they need space for that. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to transplant some of these strawberries to these long planters with adequate spacing between them. I have one more such planter here, which now grows some garlic. I'll be planting the strawberries in between the garlic. It should work as they are good companion plants. The garlic will anyway be done by June. I have prepared the soil here. It's a normal potting soil for vegetables, which I buy from the garden center. If you're not buying soil from the store, you could use a mixture of garden soil, cocoa peat, compost, and a little bit of sand for drainage. I'm also adding bone meal for stable root development and also for more flowers on the plant. Bone meal is a good source of phosphorus, but the step is optional. I'm also adding some worm castings as the initial fertilizer. You could add homemade compost instead of worm castings but I'm saving my homemade compost for the raised bed that we are building. If you don't have access to compost or worm castings, you could also add fertilizer in liquid form while watering. Mix these add-ons well into the soil. Now let's get these strawberries out of the older pot. I would suggest that you make it a habit to prepare the soil and the new planter before you take out the plants out of the old pot so that the plants don't have to be bare rooted and lay in the sun for a long time. I'm planting three strawberry plants in one planter with enough spacing between them. 20 to 25 centimeter between each plant would be a good spacing. I'm making sure the crown portion of the strawberry plant is above the soil, otherwise the plant will begin to rot and also attract pests. This is the most important thing to remember while transplanting strawberries. Before watering them, I'm going to do a very important step that is mulching. I'm using straw mulch for my strawberries. I hope you know now how the name strawberry originated. Mulching is an important step for almost all the plants. They help to maintain moisture in the soil better, which means we have to water less. It is also essential for strawberries as the fruits don't come in contact with the soil and rot. Now let's water them. Strawberries like the soil moist, not too wet, but never let them dry. Likewise, I'm planting the other planter also with the strawberries in between the garlic. I'm planning to hang them from this railing where it will receive a lot of sunlight. I'll also be fertilizing them regularly once in two weeks either with worm casting tea or seaweed fertilizer. That is it for this video. Let me know if you have any other tip to get more strawberries. Thank you so much for watching. Bye and take care.